Y'all, Solange is still keeping her foot firmly on Jay-Z's neck and it doesn't look like she's about to move her foot anytime soon because she is really putting her back into exposing him. It was only been a couple of days since she exposed him for being a handler and blackballing his ops in the industry. And now allegedly she's exposing him for cheating on Beyonce not once, not twice, but a whole 12 times. Mr. Sean Carter was really big pimping, spinning cheese and slinging that thing all over Hollywood, allegedly. Well, Solange is not here to play with Jay-Z. And at this point, we gotta wonder why did she have it out for him so bad? Because she came with some receipts of his affair. Y'all better hold on to your edges and lace fronts for this one because the T is giving what needs to have been gave. Or have you say that? But did Jay-Z really unalive one of his mistresses to protect Beyonce? Y'all, at this point, it's clear as day that Solange must hate Jay-Z's guts. Because, I mean, we literally kinda knew about this before now. But in the last couple of weeks, it has become even even clearer than before. Solange has been putting her back into exposing Jay-Z and it has gotten even worse these past couple of weeks because she has been speaking on Jay-Z over and over again. And I think that we can agree that it's not getting any better. Word on the street says that Solange has gotten sick and tired of Jay-Z's behavior and has been putting increasing pressure on Beyonce to leave him. Yeah, we've been hearing it out in the streets talks of divorce between Jay-Z and B, but really, is that really what B wants to do, leave her husband? Because that might be why we see Solange speaking more and more about Jay-Z these past couple of weeks. It's almost like she is trying to shame Beyonce into leaving the marriage or something. Now y'all may think that she is going about this the wrong way because exposing her sister's husband as a cheat is low-key embarrassing, but it seems like Solange probably feels like it's the only chance for her to get Beyonce out once and for all. I mean, y'all seen her pull up on Jay-Z in that elevator where she put them hands on him because she found out that he was messing with another person after the Met Gala. Allegedly. Now, Miss Solange isn't here to play with Jay-Z and she has never failed to make her disdain clear. In the past couple of weeks, she has been going to do some pretty extreme lengths to make sure that the world knows the type of person that Jay-Z is in hopes that Beyonce will be forced to leave him. One of her first steps was backing singer Maya and exposing how Jay-Z tried to have an affair with her. And when Maya turned him down, he allegedly got her blackballed. And in case y'all missed that tea, back in the day, Maya worked with Jay-Z on the remix of her song, Fast to Me. And according to one of the producers who worked on the song, Jay-Z felt disrespected by Maya because he didn't think that she was grateful enough for him hopping on her song. The producer said, so Jay came to the studio that night at the Hit Factory. He got it right away. He understood what it was, but he didn't like Maya's vibe in the room. He looked at her like she was a spoiled brat because she was. Jay looked at her like, I'm about to rap on your record. You about to have a hit and I don't think you really appreciate it. The producer claimed that Jay-Z then stormed out of the studio after which which people in the studio said to Maya, yo Maya, Jay wants to record the record, but he feels like you're not giving him any love. Like no thank you or none of that. They eventually got Jay-Z to come back in the studio and Maya had to play nice with him. According to the reports at the time, Jay-Z tried to make some moves on Maya, but she shut him down. That's supposedly why Jay-Z got all salty. The producers even tried to spin the story, painting Maya as the bad guy for being ungrateful for the feature. But the story did not die down there because fast forward to 2014, when the infamous Jay-Z and Solange elevator incident rocked the world, suddenly rumors started swirling that Jay-Z was stepping out on Beyonce. And guess who got dragged back in the spotlight? You guessed it, Maya. People started accusing her of being Jay-Z's secret side piece. And let me tell y'all, things went from bad to worse when Beyonce dropped her album Lemonade. Maya found herself in the middle of it all, accused of being Becky with the good hair. Talk about being in the eye of a storm because she played it cool but she was dragged extra hard and she eventually had to come out to just deny the allegations. A fan on Instagram asked her, heard you and Jay-Z had an 11 year affair. Are you his side chick or not? Nah? And Maya quickly fired back. Never did, never was, never will. She also wrote, I play second to no one. Pay my own bills, have my own label, own management company, rely on God only and respect myself and marriage too much for nonsense. But Maya also had an interview with Vlad TV where she revealed that her career was held back because she refused to give in to the pressures that she faced from a certain person in the industry. Did you say so guarded within your career? This is what I did. I said, no, I'm good. Thank you. No, thank you. Okay, so 
Sometimes that doesn't translate as far as what you are allowed to have, what you have access to. You will be blackballed. You will be talked about. You will be shit on. You will be rumored about. But you have to stand strong on what you don't care for. It's not that serious to me, you know, if I have to sell my soul. And people will still try to manipulate. I understand that I might have sacrificed something in the physical world, but the spiritual world is not worth it. You're okay. You don't need to do anything. What you need to do is protect every part of your life, your spirit especially, because everything else is connected to that. Some, there are some people, <laughs> not everyone, that have huge egos, you know, and awful mindsets towards men, towards women, towards people. And it's very difficult to be around. It's just very difficult. And the way they define success is not your idea of success. Well, allegedly, Solange is now claiming that Jay-Z allegedly had an affair with Maya and that Maya tried to call the whole thing off. And Jay-Z flipped off on her and he got her blackballed. Now, Solange probably thought she had solved the situation when she exposed Jay-Z for blackballing Maya, but it didn't do as much as she hoped. She brought out the big guns, exposing him for cheating on Beyonce from the moment they started dating. But before we get into those cheating rumors, Solange finally confirmed that there were a lot of things that the public didn't know about Jay-Z and Beyonce, like the fact that they actually met when Beyonce was 15 or 16 and not 18, like they commonly claim in the media. She pointed out this interview that Jay-Z did in the early days that somehow got buried in the internet. In a 2007 Charlie Rose interview, Jay-Z said he'd met B 10 years ago, or in 1997. But if they met in 1997 and Beyonce was only 16 when they met, Depending on what day they met, she could have been 15 for all we know. The thought of Jay-Z who was in his late 20s, 27, or 28 at the time pursuing a 16-year-old Beyonce is giving shady, to say the very least. According to Solange, one of the first people that Jay-Z cheated on Beyonce with was singer Charlie Baltimore. Now, if you had your ears to the streets back in the day, then you probably heard the rumors of Charlie and Jay-Z having an affair behind Beyonce's back. Now, Charlie used to be in a relationship with Notorious B.I.G. back in the day. She was the first female artist on the Murder, Inc. label. According to Solange, Jay-Z was having an affair with Charlie in the early days of his relationship with Beyonce, only a few months after he started dating her. But somewhere along the line, Charlie got sick and tired of being the other woman and she broke things off with Jay-Z. And you would think that Jay-Z would take his L, right? Especially since he was with Beyonce. Well, Jay-Z didn't and instead he got jealous when Charlie moved on with her man. Y'all remember when Jay-Z was arrested for knifing a man in the club, Jay-Z stabbed the producer and in his defense, he claimed that the producer had been illegally distributing bootleg copies of his then unreleased album, Volume 3, Life and Times of S. Carter. They ran into each other at a club and Jay-Z pulled an eight inch knife and stabbed the other man. Well, at least that was his story. But Solange is now calling BS on it, claiming that the real reason for the stabbing was that Jay-Z found out that Charlie had started dating this producer and he got jealous. Now getting mad at your former side piece for moving on when you're literally dating Beyonce is actually insane. But Solange wasn't capping because rapper Cameron backed her up and confirmed that stabbing was over Charlie. It, was, it wasn't over no money. It wasn't over being righteous. What was it over? A chick? What we don't do mm. is we don't with our homies ex mm. Bow. You feel me? You know who that is now, right? said, bow. Charlie Baltimore. There you go. <laughs> if you think that this was the last time he cheated on Beyonce, well, think again. Because he allegedly started pursuing Aaliyah while he was dating Beyonce, way before he and Beyonce went public. Now, what made this even messier is the fact that his friend and business partner, Dame Dash, also had eyes for Aaliyah at the time. Now, you'd think that Jay-Z dating Beyonce and Dame having eyes for Aaliyah, Jay-Z would have backed off, right? Well, if you thought that, you clearly don't know Jay-Z at all, because he does not lose. And according to 
to Solange, he didn't back off. It's not just whispers either. Jay-Z apparently had a big old crush on Aaliyah. And I'm not talking about your average school boy crush. This was more like a full-blown obsession. The kind of thing that makes you break off friendships and partnerships because that's exactly what Jay-Z did to Dame. Jay-Z's crush on Aaliyah was so intense that he ended up breaking up his bromance with Dame Dash. When the drama eventually went down, Dame revealed the reason for the fallout, claiming that Jay-Z's infatuation with Aaliyah was so intense that it broke their partnership. Dame claimed that Jay-Z wanted her so badly that he couldn't handle the fact that Aaliyah was dating Dame and not him. Dame revealed that he and Jay-Z were buddies turned rivals, all thanks to his fierce obsession with Aaliyah. They were both shooting their shot and fully aware that the other was playing the same game. And as you can expect, it didn't take long before that jealousy started bubbling on up and those green eyes came out and they found themselves at odds with each other. I kind of eased up, but then we ran into each other. It's a long story. <laughs> so you and Jay was both getting at Aaliyah. Obviously, everybody was getting out. at everybody was getting at Aaliyah, bro. Right. She was like, she was like, you know, she'll go to dinner with a, but she wasn't going to just be smashing. So that was like the big deal, like who could get with Aaliyah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but here's where things get spicy. Aaliyah started leaning more towards Dame, and Jay-Z being the competitive person that he is, was not having it. Fast forward to the fateful 4th of July party where Aaliyah and Dame Dash decided to take things to the next level, and Jay-Z, well, let's just say he found out about it, and he was furious. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know this is gonna be hard for me because he was like because he was throwing because you know because like you know his friends were laughing at him oh that's funny yeah uh -huh. well i might have a f question since we're talking about Aaliyah <laughs> and and Get ignore me if it's too much but do you have any opinion on the art kelly situation do you think he got railroaded or he he's there he's where he belongs jaguar right also backed dame up on this claiming that jay-z got his revenge by ruining dame and selling out the business from underneath him just because dame got the girl Sean carter knows that he will slump anyone in any relationship for a dollar look at how he did dame like, I don't give a f if you wanted to get away from your homie, if you wanted to get away from your partner, but to do it the way he did it, it's malicious. Well, maybe that was because he was the girl that didn't want you. Oh. So just like with Charlie, Jay-Z took out his anger on the other men that he lost women to. Even though he was with one of the most desirable women in the world, Beyonce. Like Jay-Z, do you even see what you have? But according to Solange, there were even more women, like former Rockefeller artist Emil Whitehead. For those of you who don't know who she is, she is the first female rapper that was signed to Rockefeller Records, and she even went with him on his Hard Knock Life tour. Y'all remember her? She likes a lot of parada, alizé, and vodka. Can I get a what, what? But what made this whole thing very sinister was that Jay-Z had her in the studio doing songs with Beyonce. Meanwhile, he and Emil were allegedly laying into each other, if you know what I mean. Yeah, it's nasty work. It's unclear when or why the affair ended, but from the way it sounds, it wasn't exactly up to Emil to end the relationship because in the 2011 interview, it sounded like she was pretty hung up on Jay-Z. She said, I haven't spoken to Jay in years, but I really wish I could talk to him because that would just really bring closure to me. But he knows I love him. She says, People think that there was bad blood between us, but there never was any bad blood. Things happened and I wasn't ready for where my career was going at the time. It was really overwhelming. And if you thought that we were done counting down the affairs, listen, you might wanna pull up a chair and get comfortable because the list is quite long. I wasn't kidding when I said that Solange didn't come to play with Jay-Z and she's been standing on business. Another name that Solange has pulled up is Kathy Coriana White. And I found this one particularly interesting because it was all shades of messy. Around 2010 and 2011, rumors of Kathy being in a relationship with Jay-Z were spreading like wildfire. Rumors only got stronger when she was spotted at a party with Jay-Z and Diddy at a club. The club party seemed to confirm that the rumors of the affair and listen, the tabloids went off off. It was the worst because this happened only a couple of days after Beyonce announced that she was pregnant with Blue Ivy. Jay-Z was dragged for Phil for cheating on Beyonce again and numerous tabloids tried to get in touch with Kathy to hear her side of the story. But 
to everybody's surprise, she passed away less than 24 hours after the pictures hit the internet. Even more suspicious, her social media pages also disappeared after she passed, sparking rumors that she was unalive. People were quick to point fingers at Jay-Z for allegedly putting a hit on her. Even though nothing was ever proven against him, it all remains an unfounded rumor and mystery still. Now, one thing nobody could deny was that her death didn't seem natural. The first autopsy report claimed that she had died from a wound to the head, but the second autopsy report claimed that she had suffered an aneurysm and passed away from it. Now, I know that aneurysms can be sneaky and sneak up on you without previous warning, but it does kind of seem sus that the cause of death would change so drastically. I mean, from a physical wound to an aneurysm? Yeah, that's just kind of sketchy. Then we also have Claudia Sheelan, the Belgian beauty queen, who also kind of sort of admitted that she had a little something something with Jay-Z. According to Claudia, I was with my girlfriends and he sent over a drink to us. He had this huge bottle of Ace of Spades champagne. It must have been six or ten liters. He told me, I've been all over the world, but the girls in Antwerp are the prettiest girl. Claudia didn't go into more details about what went down between them, but she hinted that they did get down, saying that he didn't mention Beyonce or their daughter Blue a single time during that night they spent together. Now this brings us to another known face in the industry, Tierra Marie. The interesting thing about Tierra's alleged affair with Jay-Z is that Beyonce allegedly found out about it and she put a stop to it. Now remember how Jay-Z claimed that the real reason he dropped Tierra from the label was because her album didn't perform as well as expected? Well, this was a big fat lie because allegedly it was all because of a messy affair that went left. According to a blind item, it was none other than L.A. Reid who allegedly started this tangled web by allegedly having an affair himself with Tierra. Then he allegedly passed her like a baton to Ray J, who in turn passed her off to Jay-Z. I have told you before, Aaliyah was SA'd as a minor by several producers and was treated like a piece of meat to be bought and sold by different producers up until the time that she passed away. A couple of years after she passed away, a fairly large record producer started making some calls about a singer he had working out of his studio. She was 15 and eager and soon different label heads were scouting her. And this is allegedly Tierra Marie. She was sold to this pseudo corn star and celebrity sibling. You can also take a guess at that one. He loves controlling vulnerable women. It is his specialty. Anyway, he started controlling the career of this singer. He brought her to the attention of this A-plus list rapper and mogul allegedly Jay-Z. Yeah, it gets kind of confusing and it's definitely twisted on so many levels, especially because she was 18 at the time. But hold on because there are a lot of twists here. See, Ray J and Tierra went public with their romance in 2006. Not long after she was dropped by Jay-Z, she was 18 and he was 25 at the time. And there were rumors that they had been hooking up long before she became legal age. However, according to reports, there are a lot of things that don't make sense about this scenario. With the biggest one, one being the fact that Tierra Marie was working on her second album after the drama of her debut. Now let's rewind a bit. If her first album was supposedly such a catastrophic disaster that it warranted her to be dropped from the label on her prom day, why on earth would Jay-Z have her work on another album? Yeah, that wasn't adding up at all. But hold up, because it gets even shadier from here. According to the mysterious whisperings of a blind item, y'all can forget about album sales and chart positions because the real reason Jay-Z he allegedly gave Tierra the boot was because of a love triangle that could put a soap opera to shame. Now word on the streets is Jay-Z reportedly wanted Tierra all to himself. Jealousy started bubbling up between the scenes as whispers of Jay-Z cozying up to Tierra reached Jay-Z's ears. But there's even more because Queen B herself, Beyonce, apparently caught wind of this affair and wasn't having it. Allegedly, she demanded Jay-Z cut Tierra off completely. By the time all of the ink was dry, she was just shy of being legal, but that didn't stop the mogul. He liked to sample the new talent. He was sampling her on a fairly regular basis, but he was also involved with the current a list singer who was in his face every day and this could allegedly be Beyonce. Now being the boss that Beyonce is, allegedly she decided that she wasn't having that drama and her solution was just to drop Tierra from the label. And oh no, Beyonce went full Hollywood mastermind and reportedly blacklisted her from the entire industry. That's right folks, Jay-Z's solution was to make sure Tierra wouldn't be working with anyone ever again. Talk 
about things being taken to the extreme? Yeah, it's some nasty, nasty work. But listen, it's absolutely insane. But again, Jay-Z cheating shouldn't be surprising because, well, he himself has admitted to cheating. He even made an entire album about it and made millions. You gotta hand it to him. He's not a businessman. He's a businessman. And he definitely capitalized off of this scandal. And y'all know the streets have been talking about it. And they've been leaving comments saying, I believe Jay-Z's smarter than the rest as well as Jay-Z has a close relationship with high-powered companies and people. The reason Jay-Z's deeds have been kept off the public. Yes, I believe that the boy who Jay-Z refuses to take DNA is his son. And they say his mom was underage when Jay-Z got her pregnant. I believe everything Jaguar Wright is saying. And it's pretty disgusting what Jay-Z allegedly did to Tierra Marie, Rihanna, Aaliyah, and even Beyonce is sick. Obviously, R. Kelly was not alone. Y'all, they saying Salon is being messy as F. But she's not done because allegedly she claims to still have some hard proof of Jay-Z being messy as F with more receipts of him cheating. But in the meantime, I need y'all to drop your thoughts in comments below because wasn't Jay-Z out here big pimping for real? Y'all let me know and then check out this next video.